Oh, the number that Johnny Warren was, sorry, I've skipped over. <laughs> you watched three Socceroo games in Hamburg and Berlin. I really should have read my notes better. It was all there, but it wasn't your shirt. Um, tell me the best thing about that, that trip. I mean, at 10, I'm sure you wouldn't remember that much, but uh, that, <laughs> tell us what it was like traveling with the team. It was such a rarity at the time. <laughs> she's clearly got no clue when she's going <laughs> All I remember is that it was a, a fantastic World Cup, best experience ever, and there weren't many Aussies there supporting the team, but we made a lot of noise and we were damn proud to see the Socceroos, led by Rally Resik, um, put our country on the map. It was just uh, an amazing, amazing tournament, I'll never forget it. And I hope we get the World Cup, the Women's World Cup here in 2023. Yeah. Absolutely. And now back to your own tour. You're going to Hong Kong. Tell me, what do you remember about it as in travelling with your teammates? Uh, it was, as I mentioned, something that didn't happen very often. What was it like? <laughs> She'll get her turn in a minute. <laughs> If I had my scrapbook here, I could show some photos. Um, but yeah, once again, it was just an unbelievable time for us. Um, nine of us played for New South Wales the year before, and our St George team ended up being undefeated for nearly 10 years. So we were in, in Hong Kong. Um, the official ceremony was held in torrential rain. They still made us parade all around the ground, but we were wined and dined, sorry, no wine, but we were really, really well looked after. And the crowds, I mean, we played um, in Sydney, you know, we had, if we had 50 or 60 spectators, that would have been fantastic. But we had crowds over there, 12,000, 16,000. So we often had to change our own things. <laughs> well, you left the shit scared part until you didn't have a microphone. Julie, 14 years old, being wined and dined. How much were you wined? I remember uh, we had to take our lead from Kim Coates. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, our coaches coaches had warned us off the water, uh, unless it was boiled, but uh, Kim said the ice in the vodkas was fine. And, uh, so we, uh, we didn't take to drinking vodka and coke or anything like that, but uh, yeah, in, uh, in, in that time I remember just uh, the players that were on that team and being uh, so very young at the time how fortunate we were to have the skill of those players around us. And uh, that's another thing that I always take from that tour. Ladies, before I let you sit down, we've got the number one Matildas Cup, the first female coach for the Matildas. Today must be really, really special. And uh, Devin Maureen, where are you? Put your hands up, give us a wave. Where are you? Over here. This came from an idea, a chat between these two at a barbecue. When? How long ago? Uh, just about 12 months ago. 12 months ago and it's finally come to fruition. Congratulations to our both of you for having the idea. <laughs> awesome stuff. And just to finish for the two of you, what does it mean to have all these... The, the camaraderie in this room is absolutely amazing, right? <laughs> and your willingness to chat. <laughs> It really is. Uh, I was just saying to Selby, um, you know, it got to the point where I was thinking, geez, it's 40 years since I've seen that, that bloke, and uh, now I've seen him about three times in three months, and that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, and it's so good to be here, and as Steph and Rally have pointed out, and I think Tom as well, 
um, the camaraderie that still exists today, uh, built from great relationships and great friendships throughout the years and during those playing years. So uh, thank you one and all from me. And me too. Hi,